All right, everybody, welcome in. The new characters have dropped, and wow, <sighs> wow. Let's let's jump into this with Hercules, because his kit. Well, let's start off first before we even have a look at that. Is he is an offensive character, and his stats are pretty solid. He's got decent speed for a starting character, and. When you start jumping into this kit, we thought he was either had to be an offensive or defensive, and we thought he was, if he's going to be defensive, he'd be like beast and be a, a offensive defensive character. But if he was going to be an offensive character, we thought he'd have some some defending to it, and that is definitely the case. So here with his basic, we can see he deals a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, so he deals one hit does two hits so he just hits two hits with 50% chance to give offense down when you level that up uh, one lot then it becomes guaranteed and that is just solid for offense down to stop the opponents dealing a lot more damage that is just super solid and at max level it'll be two turns which is a pretty long time to be locking someone down doing less damage that can discourage people from using abilities, all sorts. Or it can help waste them if they're still going to use them anyway. So, going on with that, there's 50% chance to do a follow-up attack. And with that follow-up attack, you can purge one helpful effect. So it's going to do a lot more damage. And then purge, that is, that is absolutely nuts. It's going to be amazing... With all those assist teams, people like Bell, Anna, um, and even some of those new Hercules characters, Bali, this is going to be just nuts. So, wow, let's, let's keep moving on, and he, what a legendary character is all I'm going to say. So, moving into his first special, Zero to Hero. Gain Protect, which is a new effect in the game. All enemies must attack characters with Protect. So this is like an overriding uh, taunt. And each hit removes a stack of Protect. So if he gains one, they've got to attack him for one turn. And then they can go back to whoever else. But you can have a max of five Protects. Also gain one counter up to a maximum of five so he's they're limiting how many of these he can get and then on top of all of that so when he gets a, when he gets a hit so with that protect he's going to go back and counter use his basic potentially do some damage put some offense down on then potentially purge that is more chances for all these things to happen that is just nuts then also, gain defense up for one turn. So not only is he going to be uh, protecting and, and and taunt, like pretty much taunting the team, but he's also going to be protect, um, protecting himself with a defense up. So he's going to be taking less damage. And then he's going to deal a solid amount of damage with this ability. So that's pretty cool. He's also going to gain one heroism, which will touch on later in his kit because it is just an effect for Hercules only so let's move on on crit strike increased duration of helpful effects on this character by one so if he has a whole bunch of helpful effects one like one counter one one defense up one haste then you get all the abilities like Hermes is going to be popping off and giving, and the others, then it's going to be like, hey, you're getting haste, you're getting, uh, let's say, crit power up, crit chance up, all those other things, boom, increasing, increasing, increasing. And that is, that is crazy. So you can potentially do two, and then also... 
later on, if empowered, gain one extra protect. So instead of just one, it goes to two. When you level up to level two, it'll be two, and then it'll go to three if you've got empowered. And then at level four, you are going to be gaining one random helpful effect um, from each adjacent teammate. So that is huge, especially like I said with Hermes, like he's going to be giving to adjacents and other characters who you can be sharing these abilities around. He is going to be gaining all these abilities and that is, that is awesome. That is just an awesome way to be going about this. Now, this ability, Strength of the Gods, this is, this is just absolutely nuts. He deals a solid amount of damage to all opponents, so AoE. If empowered, you're going to gain 10% bonus damage for each helpful effect on this character. Maximum of 5, so 50% more damage. And then this damage is unavoidable. When you also level this up, it's going to inflict stun on a crit strike. So if you're getting those crit chance ups, if you're getting the guaranteed crits, then boom, AOE stun. That is that is crazy. That's unavoidable. That's like Elsa's show yourself, but you don't even need tactics. So you, instead of needing tactics, you're now going to be wanting a guaranteed crit. So wow, wow. And then at max level as well, reduce speed meter by thirty percent chance on a crit. So not only going to stun them, you'll reduce all their speed meter. He's nasty. He is nasty. So moving into his passive, here we're going to have a bit more look at these protects. When a teammate is dealt damage, 10% chance to, to gain a protect. Maximum of 5, so he's going to max out at 5 with any of his protects. When this character has protect or taunt, so either one, it's going to be working the same. Um, and the target of the opponent's ability so if he's going to be a target someone attacking him because you have to attack him with taunt or protect he gains one heroism so that was that effect that we saw and with this this is what heroism does on a turn start if Heroes has Heroes, Hercules has five heroisms perform the following Lose heroism, heroism, cleanse all harmful effects, gain one guaranteed crit chance up, max two, or guaranteed crit, not even chance, and then up to a maximum of five. So they're, they're just capping him out so he's not going to be getting unlimited, but still, you're going to be using those so much. The first time this happens, you're also going to do the following, gain Empowered. So this is where you're going to get that Empowered for those other abilities. And gain Invincibility for one turn. That is huge. And he he is going to be doing some, some crazy, crazy damage. Guaranteed crit, he's going to be stunning everybody. Then on crit chance here, on, on crit strike here, he's going to be increasing durations on his other effects like haste like crit power up like offense up like defense up like all those other ones so he is going to be he's going to be nuts getting more protects that is that is just huge huge so he's going to be he's going to be a monster also when you're going to level level uh, this ability up it's going to be guaranteed to gain protect when um, teammates health drops below 15 percent of their max so if some of your your characters are getting hit he's going to boom, boom gain protect they're going to have to hit him then they've also they've They've also got to then go through him and he's going to be getting his counters off. He's going to be attacking the offense downs, pur purging. Like, this is, this is crazy. 
And then, just on top of all of that, if this character is affected by Taunt or Protect, this is where, like, it actually starts making sense, is you're also going to reduce the incoming damage by 20%. When you level it up, he's also going to be another 10%, so that's going to be 30% less from a, from basic abilities. That is, that is crazy. Then, on Protect being consumed, so when he uses it and, get, and gets hit, this character gains 20% speed meter. So they're not only going to have, they're going to have to hit him, then he's also going to be getting speed meter, going faster, getting more turns, and on turn start, perform the following, restore 5% of this character's max health. So if the, the opponents have got some small hits that they're trying to chew through to get through him, boom, he gets hit, reducing the damage on his turn, he's going to heal up, and... If empowered, gain if empowered, if empowered, gain crit, guaranteed crit as well. He's also gonna get more health restored when he's leveling up. Like this right here, he's gonna be super solid. He's also gonna work in so well with the likes of Pegasus, the, the one who came with him. Because Pegasus will be helping to if a certain character or any character takes lots of damage, he'll be sharing some of that damage. So if Herc is going to take too much damage from attack, it's going to share it to Pegasus. So it's just going to help keep him alive. You can, you can also just work him into so many teams, so many teams, even outside of the Hercules fa faction. He is going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy legendary. Wow. We've already seen some crazy things, and I've got some crazy stuff for you to see in the coming days. So stay tuned. We're going to have some Hercules showcasing, and it's wild. So look forward to seeing you all there. Hopefully you enjoy that. And so if you're not already, don't want to miss that. Subscribe, and we'll see you in the coming days.